So guys, if you have been an active participant in the Solana NFT ecosystem in the last couple of months, then chances are you would have been eagerly awaiting the launch of this particular website. Now granted the launch didn't happen as smoothly as we would like, but finally we have it. We have now the website called Soul C. Now for those who don't know what Soul C is, Soul C is the first open NFT marketplace on Solana. Now a good comparison would be if you think of OpenSea for Ethereum or CNFT for Cardano. But basically SoulC is the first marketplace that enables creators to choose and embed licenses when they mint NFTs. Creators know what they are selling, collectors know what they are buying, and basically guys we are joining the revolution. Now here are the six main reasons why we should use this platform as Solana NFT enthusiasts. Number one, your NFTs come with embedded licenses. The first minting platform that allows creators to embed copyright licenses into their NFTs. And of course, you get the ability to mint your own NFT on Solana. It can be either public or private. The platform has multi-currency support. You can pay with USDC or USDT or SOL. You have ultra low transaction costs as with anything on Solana and you have a rarity index built into the platform and a verified collection check mark. Now when you scroll down the main page the first thing you'll see will the most popular NFTs on the platform that have been listed so far and if you scroll even further you get to see the hottest collections and here you can see Degenerate Ape Academy and then there are some collections where nothing has been listed as yet. These are obviously projects that are still in the works. Scroll down even further and you get to see even more NFTs that have been listed recently for sale. Now the first thing you want to do, whether you are a buyer or seller on this platform, is connect your Solana wallet. In this case, I would probably choose the Phantom wallet as I find this wallet a very easy to use wallet. Now I'm going to show you guys how to create your collection as well as mint your NFT on the platform. I would have already gone ahead and connected my wallet. So let's scroll back up to the top and explore this platform together. So let me click on this button and see what has been listed on the platform so far. You'll probably see a lot of degenerate apes on this platform, some bull badgers, some Solana Doge. If you scroll down, you might see one or two Aurorians and the list should continue. Now, these are the individual listed NFTs, but you can also explore the collections. Now, as I mentioned before, this platform is extremely new and some of these projects will have zero NFTs listed in them so far. And then you have some which are more established that already have a few listings available for you to go and purchase. Now, there's one particular project I'm looking for. This is one that was done by a friend of mine. It is called Psychedelic Apes. I'm going to check out his work and see what he has done. So far, he has listed 10 NFTs and the floor price is 5 Sol. So using his project as an example, I'm going to show you guys how a purchase is done on this platform. I'm looking for ape number 7. Once I click on it, my wallet is already connected. All I have to do is go and click on buy NFT. I enter my password. Approve the transaction and in a matter of seconds, the NFT should be available for me. Now to be quite honest, the purchase did not work out the first time around and I had to end up buying one of his other NFTs, number 6 to be exact. Some of the possible reasons why the transaction failed is possibly due to the fact that someone bought the NFT right before I was going to buy it and the website wasn't updated fast enough. Or it could have been a congestion issue on the Slana blockchain. But whatever the case, here you can see my NFT in my wallet. And it appears that I can list this NFT on the open marketplace right from this screen by clicking list NFT. I'm going to put the price as double what I paid for it. I can write a description but in this case I don't know what to say so I'll leave it as blank. And I'll click list NFT. Once I approve the transaction, wait a few seconds. And my NFT should be listed on the open marketplace. Now the next thing I would like to show you guys is how you can create your own collections on this platform. Once you click on create collection, 
you have the option of uploading a header image, an icon, a title, description, and of course you enter all of your social media links on the platform as well as the traits of your collection. Now I don't have enough NFTs that I can use to create a collection, but what I can show you guys is how to mint your own single NFT on the platform. So this is the actual NFT I would like to upload. I hope some of you actually like it. Remember guys, always take in your daily dose of Solana. So let me head back to the page. The first thing you want to do is upload a preview, maybe a screenshot of your NFT. And it should appear here and here on the page. Once you scroll down, you have to give it a title. For my NFT, it's going to be called Solana Daily Dose. And my description is going to be, remember to take your Solana Dose every day. My seller's fee is going to be 5%. I'm going to link the IPFS address here. And my tags are going to be digital. You can add more tags, collectible. Let's see what else they have. 3D. And let me see if you can type in any tags. Uh, I'm not sure if typing in a tag works. You may have to use their pre-ascribed tags video etc select license in this case i'm going to pick reproduction commercial exploitation i'm not really sure what the licenses are i have to read up on the documentation but that's the one i'm going to choose for this video selection there are no collections that i have the color is white and for the tray i'll probably leave it as blank for now and click submit once I enter my password approve the transaction I must click approve a second time And congratulations, my NFT has been successfully minted. All that's left to do now is to go and check my wallet and make sure that all of my NFTs are in my wallet. But before I do that, let me go over to the calendar. This is where you guys will probably come to look for our upcoming projects. You have the frequently asked questions. And if you go back, I will now show you guys what the NFTs look like in your wallet. You go here to wallet, NFTs in my wallet. You should probably always click refresh wallet on chain but once you do that all of your nfts should be shown here the ones you have listed and the ones you have yet to list and of course you can see how many persons have viewed your nft as well as how many persons have given it a like so this has been a quick overview of what you can expect on soul c and how to use it now I'm probably one of the first YouTubers to actually make a tutorial video on the website and if you found my content enjoyable and informational then feel free to give my video a like, you can comment in the description and you can also share it to all of your other Solana buddies. Now my channel is not monetized like other crypto YouTubers and therefore if you are feeling generous and want to help support the growth of my channel then feel free to give me a small donation of Sol to this address here on the screen. Now my name is Kevin, I'm from Caribbean Crypto Tips on YouTube and I thank you guys for watching this video.